to Street Smart on Bloomberg Television and streaming live on your iPad, iPhone, and on Bloomberg.com. Well, tonight, the NFL draft begins. Round one, the promise of gridiron glory. The reality, well, it's a hard business. Eight out of ten retired players find themselves either bankrupt or in financial trouble, according to Sports Illustrated. Joining us now to discuss the pros and cons of football finance, sports agent Eugene Lee, CEO of ETL Associates. He represents three players who will be uh, in the draft starting again this evening. Uh, Eugene, great having you here. Thanks, How do you man. advise these guys? They're, they're young people and yet they're adults and they're potentially superstars. You want to make sure that you take a role to them as a confidant, as an advisor. You want to advise them with integrity. They have enough yes men or yes women around them. You need to advise them as their agent, as their advisor. You need to point them in the right direction, whether it pertains to financial matters or their career. They're looking to you for that guidance, not just to say yes to their to, to their. So, so how do you actually go about doing that? I understand the concept, but how do you, I mean, is it a series of meetings? Do you sit down? Do you, do you get to know the families? I mean, what happens behind the scenes? The recruiting process starts 12 months beforehand. I mean, you're recruiting a player all year long. And over that time, when you meet with the player and his family, you develop trust. And over, the, over time, as trust develops, the player realizes he can lean on you for honest advice and that you're somebody that can really help him enjoy a long career in the NFL. So what about the statistic? Eight out of ten wind up in, in serious financial trouble or even bankruptcy. Why is that? What happens? I think that when players retire, they stop playing in the NFL they don't adjust their their lifestyle I think that's the key problem do they, they also maybe not save enough while they are playing I think they do save you know it, it depends on per the player how much they do end up saving but I think the major cause of that dilemma is that they're still living the same lifestyle that they were living when they were playing in the NFL and earning this huge income and when the income dips and you're still trying to live at that same level you're going to deplete your savings pretty quickly and and according to the uh, the Players Association the average the duration of being a professional football player is what 3.3 years in the average or I should yep. say the minimum minimum salary is 390,000 sounds like a lot of money but your point is you can blow it pretty fast you can in today's NFL with the cost of living the way it is and the one thing that people don't realize is that NFL base salaries are flat per player across the board so if you have a young man who, who's drafted by the New York Giants, he's going to earn the same minimum salary that a player who's playing up in Green Bay, Wisconsin will earn. And the dollar will go a lot further in Wisconsin than it will here. Mm -hmm. What about sort of just overall uh, financial literacy? I mean, it, it, I mean, it, it's tough. You're suddenly, you know, a kid out of school and you get 300000 or maybe a million dollars. How do you... How do you help them make sure that they're making wise financial decisions? We put them in touch with qualified financial advisors who will have their best interests at heart. Mm -hmm. The NFL has been great in terms of instituting programs in the off season at various business schools across the country, such as Kellogg and Wharton, just to get these players more in tune and just to educate them more about finances and about business, about taking the next step once they're done playing in the NFL. So they've been very proactive about that. But my job as an agent is to put them in touch with the right people to help them plan for the future. To run block or to uh, borrow a phrase, who, who are your top picks tonight? Johnny Adams is a cornerback from Michigan State. He was highly rated coming into the season, and I think he's going to have a long career in the NFL. And then we have a linebacker from Texas A&M, Jonathan Stewart, who had a great season this year and very versatile player. I think Jonathan will have a long career as well. Eugene Lee, thanks for being here. Thank you. And you've got a long night ahead. Good luck. Thank you, Adam. All right.